I want to take you guys through my muesli. This is my post-workout meal. This has been my post-workout meal for the past three weeks, maybe a month, maybe more than that actually. Um, so to walk you through this, what I just did was I put a cup of flax milk in a pan and I'm measuring out my muesli and then I'm also measuring out a flax seed and chia seed blend that I bought from Vitamin Shop. It makes the consistency of this really, really thick from the ground flax seed. So I highly, highly recommend you try to find the, the ground flax seed and the chia mixture at Vitamin Shop. And in my milk, before I add the muesli and the chia and the flax, I just added some organic vanilla extract and some uh, cinnamon. And then I stir in the muesli and then I warm it up. I wait till it gets nice and thick and then I do add a little bit of stevia and I really only cook it for about five minutes. It doesn't need a lot of time to cook. And I add some pink salt after I add it to a bowl, sprinkle on some cinnamon, and then my toppings are frozen raspberries, frozen blueberries, fresh blueberries. I like the cold and then the fresh blueberries. And then I also top it with some granola and a little bit of almond milk. It is delicious. Hello my loves, welcome to today's vlog. It is a Monday, August 19th I think is the day. I'm sorry for the shadow, I have my ring light on behind me so you can see me. It is about 10.15 in the morning and I am not gonna be filming this part of my day because it's literally me just sitting on the couch and I feel like you've seen it before. Um, but let me know, please, if you could pause this video after I ask this question, let me know if this is something I guess that you want me to talk more about. Um, is my meditation practice, my journaling practice kind of my practice to get me into my highest vibes for the day? Um, I do this before I start work. I typically do it after I eat breakfast because after the gym, after I shower and get ready, I'm pretty hungry and I have found that if I try to meditate while I am hungry, it's all I can think about during my meditation and that is not the goal of my meditation. I am really trying to be as aware and conscious as possible and I have I've been doing meditation every single day for the past maybe two consistently maybe two weeks now maybe three and I do a guided meditation I have one that I found on YouTube that I love it's a 10 minute chakra balancing and harmonizing meditation and if you don't know what a chakra is, it's the different energy centers in your body. You have one at your crown, your uh, third eye here, your throat, your heart, um, right underneath your breastbone, and then right kind of like where your pelvis is, underneath your belly button, and then below um, your spine is your trunk. And when those energy centers are blocked, that's when you can experience different negative emotions and things like that. It's very woo-woo, but it's very true. Um, I'm reading a lot about it and it's fascinating. I'm obsessed. But today what I'm going to share with you is I'm going to take a little challenge today and instead of doing my guided meditation, I'm going to put on some just like calming meditation music and I'm going to put on a 10 minute timer on my phone. I might do 12 minutes just to meditate a little longer because I do want to start to get into longer meditations but I'm gonna do it without being guided and I'm gonna see where my mind goes and if I can be, if I can like step back into my like my inner consciousness. Really hard to do. I've never been able to successfully do it for like an extended period of time. So I'm just gonna have grace with myself today and I know my thoughts are probably gonna go to work and what am I gonna post today and 
I have such a busy day. That's actually why I picked up the camera uh, because I did get a request from somebody to talk about my scheduling and my planning, especially with like a crazy freaking day. So I'm gonna talk to you more about that <clears throat> in a little bit, but I am going to sit on my couch and the first thing that I do is I do my meditation before I do anything else. Um, and then that's after my meditation, I do journaling because I do get a lot of downloads, I feel, after I journal. And then I just take a couple minutes to flip through this amazing poetry book called Inward by Young Pueblo. And I just take a few minutes and I flip to random pages and just see what the universe wants me to read today. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna take probably about 30 minutes. And, um, and then I will check back in with you a little bit later. I got a busy, busy day, so we'll talk soon. I got it. Um, and I think that'll be a very specialized challenge because you're gonna have to maybe maybe before you do the challenge you can pull people to see if they do eat out um, just to just to see the response because there might be people who don't eat out at all but they're just unhealthy people or they do or I just think just in case because I would hate for you to do this challenge and have people be like well I don't eat out so that doesn't apply to holy me. Holy moly I am busy today. Let me pause my music before I get a copyright claim. Okay, so I have 20 minutes until I have to leave my house and I have an appointment so there is literally no way around it. I have to leave in 20 minutes and right now it is 1.40 and I am making my next meal. I ate at 10. Um, I was just on the phone with a client and that is why I am a little rushed right now. So I'm gonna talk while I get myself ready for the day. Hold on. Okay, so time management and just getting my shit together for the day. This is what I have to do. I have an appointment at 2.30, it's 30 minutes away. And I have a call with one of my clients uh, right afterwards. And then I have an, another appointment to go to um, a little bit after my phone call. But there is no point in me coming home. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just putting my meal together. I'm so like frantic right now. There is no point of me coming all the way back home because I'm gonna have to go all the way back down south for my next appointment. So I am gonna be out of the house from about two to six. So I know that I need to make myself a meal. And what I am doing right now is I'm putting some rice in a little Tupperware. This is just leftover rice from last night. I'm gonna eat it cold because that's what I have to do. I have no other choice. I'm also gonna add some broccoli again from last night and then some ground chicken that I meal prepped. Um, let me add the chicken first. And this is how I just make sure that I get my meals in is by bringing them with me. There is no excuse. Yes, I'm gonna eat it cold and I don't care. That's the only option I have. Um, and yeah, so I, I don't know why I chose the smallest Tupperware I could possibly choose. I'm switching it out for this bigger one. <laughs> We're gonna pour it all in. The chicken's on the bottom, the rice is at the top. Oh well, right? Um, and right now, like I said, I'm making my next meal, which is one whole avocado. It's tiny, so I'm doing the whole thing. A bunch of cherry tomatoes, and then egg whites, which I didn't, um, I didn't weigh them or measure them. I just poured them in right here. let those finish cooking <laughs> oh my gosh this day um so i mean this meal is actually a pretty decent sized meal i feel like i shouldn't really eat this when i'm going to eat it because then i'm going to come home and make dinner but i don't know why i'm snacking on broccoli i freaking love broccoli man um I'm sorry that this clip is a mess, but right now, 
I have no time. And it's hard to vlog when and talk when I need to like get shit done. So I'm so sorry if this is all over the place, but sometimes um, that's just where I'm at in my life. And I'm a little bit more frantic because I am vlogging and I have to take the time to talk to you. Um, it's not usually this crazy and rushed because I'm not having to speak and look at a camera. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt to this container. Tonight for dinner, we are having some chicken curry. I'm gonna work at Starbucks uh, for after my client call in between my two appointments, my client call because I have nowhere else to go. Um, this is gonna be the meal that I bring with me. I have a little cooler that I'm gonna bring and I'm gonna eat this little meal right here. So um, that's, I'm gonna season my eggs. I haven't seasoned them yet. Egg whites, whole avocado, tomato. I usually have a carb with this, but I, I don't have a carb right now. I'm not gonna toast bread. I don't have time for that shit right now. So I'm gonna eat 15 minutes, I gotta go. So who knows when you'll see me next, um, but I'm definitely gonna be a little bit more calm when you see me. So I'm gonna eat this. Love you guys. I'm sorry if this was a mess. Yeah, I'm probably gonna edit this and be like, oh my God, this is painful to watch, but huh, that's my life. So, love me. Hi, so it's me again, obviously. And I was eating my little egg whites and my avocado and stuff. And I was thinking about, I'm like, okay, wait a minute. I don't really want to eat a, like all of that rice and the broccoli and the chicken because the reason why I don't want to eat that is because I'm going to be coming home shortly after to eat dinner and I have noticed when I eat a meal like that, like a kind of like almost like a second dinner right before dinner, I'm never hungry and I'm going to be having a lot of carbs tonight for dinner because I'm making my curry with sweet potatoes. Um, but I'm not gonna be having a lot of fat. So instead, I made a little switch. I put that Tupperware, I'll eat that tomorrow. And I have this egg white salad from Trader Joe's that I actually have to eat by tomorrow, by tomorrow the 20th. So this is perfect. I'm actually gonna take this whole container. What I did was I added half of an avocado and I just poured hemp hearts on top. And so I'm gonna have that as my protein. I'm gonna put it in my little Fitmark bag with a little cooler. And then for a carb, because I didn't have a carb just now, I'm gonna bring some of these thin rice cakes. Um, the serving size is four of them. So for 100 calories, 22 carbs. So I'm gonna bring these and I am going to have this as my carb source. Um, so it's you know not too high in carb, but um, I'm still getting some carbs and some fiber. And then, but my main priority with this meal is going to be fats because I know that for dinner, my dinner is going to be more carb heavy and um, not so much fat. And this also makes sense because fats are slower digesting and um, they don't give you that like immediate energy that a carbohydrate would. And I am going to an eyelash extension appointment where I'm gonna be laying down for an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. So I don't need energy. I need that slow burning energy um, from the fats instead. So this meal actually prioritizing fat instead of carbs is going to serve me a lot better because I'm literally going to be laying down for, um, uh, I'm gonna be laying down for an hour. So I have to leave in six minutes. I'm also going to put some of my greens into a shaker so I can have that as well. Um, I'm out of my biome greens, so I just have this garden of life greens right now just from um, Vitamin Shop. I always have a spare greens just in case. So I'm gonna have this uh, because I do like to get my greens in. So I wanted to tell you that. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna fill this up with water, some ice, go to the bathroom, and then I will maybe try to turn on the camera at Starbucks to show you what drink I get. <laughs> Sorry, this is a mess. Hello, so I totally, let me turn on my ring light, I'm sorry, it's so dark in my house. So I totally forgot that I was vlogging today. Like, I don't know what happened when I got to Starbucks, but I had 
full intention on recording and showing you my Starbucks drink and I guess my work and I just like after my client call I dove right into work and then I had another appointment quickly after so I just totally spaced and forgot so I'm sorry about that um, at Starbucks though I had my little rice cakes I had a venti iced passion fruit tea, unsweetened, with a splash of coconut milk, and then I add my own stevia, but the, the barista, or I guess the guy taking my order, did not write splash of coconut milk. So the guy making my drink dumped probably about a cup of coconut milk in my tea, and I was watching him do it, and I just was like, fuck it, you know, it's just, it's just some extra calories. Oh well. The old Christina, oh my god, I would have had a heart attack, but it felt good to be like, hmm, oh well. And it was delicious. So I actually did not, I'm so sorry for what I look like. And you know what? I'm not sorry for what I look like. Ooh, I do not want to say sorry for what I look like. I had a busy day. Just got my eyelashes done. I have no makeup on, so I'm oily. It's super hot outside, and I'm not gonna apologize for that. So this is what I look like today. Um, I am not all makeup and perfect looking and that's okay. And I'm not gonna apologize for that. <laughs> I'm trying to heal the way that I look at myself, um, if you can't tell. Um, so just to fill you guys in, at Starbucks I just did have the rice cakes and I was so busy with work that I just wasn't thinking about food, about hunger, about anything. Went to get my eyelashes done and then I got out of my appointment around 6.15 and then as I sat in my car I ate my egg white salad mixture with my avocado and my hemp seeds. So that was only not even an hour ago and I'm home. And so I'm not gonna be too hungry for dinner. So my portion of dinner was gonna be pretty small because I did just eat. Um, but I'm really excited to show you what I'm making for dinner because it's the perfect one pan meal that is fucking phenomenal. I'm trying to swear less, but it's so good. So just to kind of take you through what I have going on here, let me post up my camera. So I, everything cooks in one pan, which is my favorite. I love to do this on Monday nights because Mondays are always my busiest work day. So if I can just make dinner in one pan and have it taste so good and then also have leftovers for tomorrow, it's a win, 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 win. Win, 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 win. Is that that's the song, right? Yes. Yes. So. That's the song, right? <laughs> Brian and I. I. Oh my gosh. I challenge you guys to do this in your own relationship. So, Brian and I, if we say something, and our last couple words are like the lyrics to a song, the winner finishes the song and starts singing. So like what I just did, like win, 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 and then I just went in and I just finished it. I literally am the, the fucking champ, bro. Like, he doesn't even, he doesn't even know how to recite lyric because oh, wow. I win, 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 win every time. And I'm just like. I know the song. What, what did I play? Is this the rule? Like. I can't even, it's, it's hard to tell you how we play the game because with him, he can't even admit. Oh no, she, kill, she, she kills me in the game. Every that time. And you get upset, me. you're like, fuck. I know, because I, so I listen to the music way more than you, like I the know. rap music. The rap music, I sound like such an old. That rap, that their rap music. That darn rap music. Um, but so yeah, so tangent, I'm sorry, but so um, if you like say something and then you can finish it with lyrics to a song and play that game with like your significant other, it's really fun and we do it all the time. Well, I guess I play by myself to be honest. I guess you can categorize that way <laughs> since you killed me. He doesn't do it. Um, but anyway, like I said, it's oh, this, is, this recipe is awesome. I shared it with my clients. I have never shared it with anybody but my clients before. So this is for a YouTube only special. So you can get simmer sauces anywhere. I get mine from Aldi because it's like 80 cents. <laughs> so I have a stocked pantry of this and they have a bunch of different um, flavors, but I love the tiki, tikka masala simmer sauce. It's just like an Indian, chicken tikka masala, it's not spicy, it's not 
high in curry or anything like that. It's just really flavorful and the macros on here are stupid for an, okay, so for a quarter of a cup, which I guess I would probably say that you probably get about a quarter of a cup with a serving of dinner, it's only 45 calories, two and a half fat and five carbs and you just cook you don't even have to eat the sauce. You just cook the ingredients in the sauce and you simmer it. So what I do is I love to make this with chopped up chicken breast. I also, this is like the best and Brian loves it too. Instead of rice, I actually cook sweet potatoes and I chop them up in little chunks like this, a little bit smaller than what I would chop the chicken because I want this to cook in the same amount of time that the chicken cooks and sweet potatoes are dense. So they're gonna need more time to cook. So if you cut them a little bit smaller, then they will cook at the same exact time as the chicken would. I hope that makes sense. And so sweet potato as my carb source and the sweet potatoes, they soak up this sauce and they get soft and so flavorful. I love adding potatoes. You can do white potato. I'm, I love the sweet potatoes in here. And then I also add broccoli. Now broccoli cooks a lot quicker. So I, I'll, sh I'll take you through everything, but I cook the chicken and the sweet potatoes for about 12 minutes. And then I add in chopped broccoli and I cook that for about six to eight minutes or until the broccoli is fork tender and then everything is done and it's all ready in that pan. And then I add lemon juice and some cilantro and it's so good. And I always like, look at, this is for dinner. Clearly we're not eating all of these potatoes for dinner. So we are gonna have leftovers for tomorrow night for dinner because we have plans tomorrow to make terrariums. Um, so this is gonna be our dinner tomorrow. So I love, whenever I'm making this, I love to make a little extra, whether that's for tomorrow night's dinner or maybe lunch the next day. So um, yeah. Too. For Brian, of course, yes. Um, so I'm going to just get it in the pan and then I'm gonna charge my camera because it's blinking at me so I'm not able to show you me putting this in a pan, but that's all I'm doing is I'm putting the chicken and the sweet potatoes in a pan with the sauce, but I will show you when I add the broccoli just so you can see kind of what it looks like. So I will check you guys in about 15 minutes. Okay, so it has been 12 minutes. And I just took a fork, just so you guys know what I did, and I just checked the sweet potatoes, and they are getting nice and cooked, and I know in about eight minutes they are gonna be perfect. So now, and I'm just gonna add my chopped broccoli florets, and I'm just gonna stir, I'm gonna stir the broccoli in so it is all submerged in the sauce. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt because salt helps to soften your veggies. So let me grab my salt. Just a little pinch. I don't like to add too much too soon because you cannot take the salt away, but you can always add more. And I am just gonna stir until the broccoli gets like covered in the sauce. And then I'm just gonna put the cover back on and then cook it for about eight minutes. And then it's gonna be absolutely perfect. And then I just add a little bit of lemon juice once I dish it out into each of our bowls. And then some chopped cilantro and it is the perfect meal, the house smells so good. This is the quickest and easiest thing. You could meal prep this, honestly. If you meal prepped this, like you do nothing, it's so easy. What I really, like I said this before, but something, instead of meal prepping for this on Sunday, why not make this for dinner on Monday night or you know any night of the week and then just make so much more that you and your husband or your boyfriend can enjoy it the next day for lunch or maybe the next two days for lunch. Um, it's really such a great thing. So instead of meal prepping it, I like to do it this way so I can uh, have dinner and then have lunch for the next day. So it's kind of like, it still is meal prepping, but it's kind of like even simpler. So I am going to put the top on and then I will show you when it's done. Eight minutes, top on, and then I'm gonna check it with a fork and it's gonna be perfect. And it is perfectly done. So 12 minutes for the chicken and the sweet potatoes and then eight minutes to finish cooking the sweet potatoes and to cook the broccoli. So perfect, look at all this food, perfect 
for tonight dinner, tomorrow night for dinner, and then I have some cilantro and some lemon. So I just wanted to show you the finished product and how much this yields. And now I am just gonna put it in a bowl for Brian and I, squeeze a little bit of lemon on top, sprinkle the cilantro, and then add a little bit of pink salt. So good, the house smells amazing. And here is dinner. I'm sorry for the messy bowl, but it's eight o'clock. And your girl's hungry, right? It's been a long time. And here is Brian's. I didn't stir his yet, but we are gonna dig in. I'm sorry for the crazy noise in the background. I'm gonna talk to you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna end tonight here, but I'm gonna talk to you tomorrow, so. Bye, have a good night. Hey guys, so I am literally, it is Thursday, and I am editing this video right now that you are watching, and I really wanna get it out to you tomorrow, and I noticed that it's about, it's about 27 minutes long, and I had like an eight minute talk at the end, so I'm gonna maybe put that in a different video or maybe somehow re-record it, but I'm gonna end this video here. I'm sorry it was so long, but as I was editing it, I really didn't wanna take anything out. I thought the recipes were great. I thought the talks that I had were great. So can you do me a favor and please let me know in the comments, is this too long of a video? So, and if it doesn't bother you, then let me know, because then I, I love to add recipes and stuff like that, so, and sometimes that just takes a little bit longer because I do like to explain it to you. So, comment below what you think about the, the length of the video, if you would rather have smaller videos and I can just not record as many things, or maybe split them up into different videos or something. I would love your feedback. So, I'm gonna end this video here, um, and I will hopefully get another uh, upload for you next week. Bye, guys, have a great weekend.